Hello everyone, it's Andy. That means it's Monday. Uh, this week is Nancy's topic and we are discussing GMO foods. She asks us, do you know what GMO is? What are your thoughts on it and does it change your thoughts about food? GMO uh, is genetically modified organism and it's basically any organism that has been modified by science. I personally believe that certain foods it's good to modify so that they can uh, grow in harsher climates and so that famine is less of an issue and stuff like that. It becomes an issue when companies want to profit off of it that their sole motivation is to profit off of these or you know GMOs and such. SciShow just did a uh, they just redid an episode on GMOs actually and I'll link a link that down below. I found it very interesting and it basically summarized that GMOs aren't necessarily bad for you. Certain things like corn started out itty bitty and they've now been genetically modified to be the corn that we know and love. Speaking of corn, when I was in an English class in college, the theme for that year was food. My English class read The Omnivore's Dilemma, A Natural History of Four Meals by Michael Pollan, which, fun fact, he is Michael J. Fox's brother-in-law. In it, he basically, according to Michael Pollan, he reports that there are some 45,000 items in the average American supermarket and more than a quarter of them contain corn. On Wikipedia it says, corn has successfully changed the U.S. diet and animals diet. This can be seen when Pollan monitors the development of a calf from a pasture in South Dakota through its stay on a Kansas feedlot to its dreadful end. The animals evolved to eat grass, but more than half of a feedlot cow's food comes from corn. The other half contains other products such as meat. But that's another, that's another discussion entirely. But I just found it to be a very interesting book if you want to see exactly how they use corn in different ways, not just for humans, um, and how they modify it. And it, it's all very interesting to me. I think science is amazing and splendid and I do think that we should modify organisms to like I said before be better adaptable in certain environments just just so that you know to prevent famine and 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 stuff like that basically my point comes down to that it's when big giant companies try to solely profit off of it and not better humanity is where the issue lies. So that's my opinion on GMOs. Have a wonderful week. Nancy's tomorrow and I will see you next Monday.